good morning you guys i am feeling really good this morning it is so cozy in the house because it is so early and dark and i just want to cuddle up like you guys know gotta be persistent gotta go to the gym this is your motivation to get your body moving even if that means having to wake up a bit before work for 10 minutes to just walk around it's so important to get your body moving daylight savings time happened recently and it has been throwing me off like literally so much it is getting dark at 5 30 which is so insane and i can't believe that it's going to keep getting dark earlier and earlier like that is just like so absurd to me it just like is throwing me off absolutely throwing me off because at 5 30 i think it's like eight o'clock and it's just like the weirdest thing ever it's also really dark in the morning and i just feel like i'm constantly living in the dark <laughs> like i'm not used to it yet yeah let me know comment down below what time your guys' sun sets at this time of year if it's like the same as ours because i'm curious and i have really no idea honestly if like what happens in other places in the world with this kind of thing but anyways i still don't know why there's daylight savings time like why do they do that like why do they make it so dark in the winter and so light in the summer it would almost be better if it was just like an even an even path you know anyways i was gonna throw in my earrings this morning but i have been having an issue because i throw in my earrings every morning and i have been really good at taking them out at night and i wear like real i have real gold earrings that i put in i had to stop wearing them because I went to go put them in the other day and my ear started just profusely bleeding and I'm like what is going on and I have no idea because I have worn like real gold earrings my whole life and never have had an issue but just recently I've been having issues and I used to be able to sleep with my earrings no problem and just wear them all day like literally never take them off and it was no problem now I can't even like put them on in the morning and it's like so weird because I thought my issue was, oh, maybe I just shouldn't be sleeping with my earrings on. So I would take them off at night and then put them on right in the morning. But now I can't even do that. So it's just this one ear that it's like, it doesn't hurt at all. It's just like once I put my earrings in, like it's almost like the backing is like closing for no reason. It's like the weirdest thing and it just starts bleeding. Maybe it's the type of gold earrings that I'm wearing. I don't know, but they are real. So I have no idea and they're just like my little my little hoops that i wear every day so i'm confused anyways i'm gonna get ready for the gym so we can go and move our booty i just wanted to film a cozy home vlog for you guys today since it's that time of year it's cozy it's cold it's dark and bound to film a little cute home vlog so got my pink little biker shorts on today i haven't worn these in so long forgot i had them to be honest but i'm obsessed with the little pink color i'm wearing the shorts with my define jacket it's not actually lulu but this one's from aritzia and i'm obsessed with it i recently like i lost it and then i found it again and i have been wearing it non-stop because it is like just the coziest thing to put on for the gym it is so warm but it's also so good to work out in and i'm just like obsessed like these jackets are hyped up for a reason so this is a little work outfit of the day
I'm just about to make my iced coffee and I just took these out. I found these at HomeSense a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago now when I was shopping for Halloween and I had to buy them because I know these sell out so fast and these are little Christmas iced coffee cups and they have similar ones. I think these are like anthropology dupes. They're so freaking cute. Everybody has been using them for their iced coffee and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna make myself a cute coffee in one of these Christmas cups because this is the start of Christmas and I'm so excited. And it was only $15 for these two. So pretty good deal and oh my God, they're so freaking cute. I am actually obsessed oh my gosh this is like what romanticizing life is just like buying cute glasses to make your little coffee in or matcha or whatever that's what life is all about like honestly this brings me so much joy and it's so festive i love so delicious and tastes like christmas and i'm giving credit to that because of the cup so cheers guys to the beginning of the cozy christmas season i just got myself ready for the day i tried to recurl my hair a little bit every time i do curls they just like end up turning into waves and i hate the feeling of hairspray on my hair and so they just kind of fall throughout the week and whatever. So I just kind of recurled a few pieces. I'm drinking my iced coffee. This cup is just making me so happy. And I have big plans for today. Big plans. It is currently November 6th. And I think it's the appropriate time to like start getting in the Christmas mood. Especially because I'm in Canada. And here we don't have our Thanksgiving at the end of November. We already had our Thanksgiving. That was the beginning of October. So here, kind of right after Thanksgiving and Halloween are done, it's basically Christmas because the only other like holiday is Remembrance Day. And I could still celebrate Remembrance Day with my Christmas tree up. I'm just like over the moon excited because we're gonna decorate later today. Gonna go out, do a little home since shopping trip. But first I do have some work to get done today, obviously. Like a bunch of emails to look through right now. I'm gonna do a couple things and then I do have some filming to do like for brands today. So I might get some of that done as well. But priority of the day, it's not work it is decorating for christmas so <laughs> i'm really excited but we still have the whole day ahead of us so i'm not stressing gonna grind out a bunch of work now and then put on a cute outfit in a bit and then we're gonna go out christmas decor shopping so i'm just so excited to film this little cute cozy at home vlog and the holiday season is like truly my favorite time of the year it there's just like there's something in my heart that like i feel this time of year and nothing can replicate this like warm feeling that christmas gives me it's just amazing so even though this time of year always comes and goes so fast i'm just really want to soak in every second of it and i also feel like for some reason right now like this period like 2024 i've noticed a lot of people just like doing things more and romanticizing their life more i don't know maybe on social media in real life and like, making the most out of your day-to-day things in life is so important and so let's make the most about christmas and let's have fun decorating and i'm so excited that's the vibe for this year going into 2025 is to just like celebrate everything every little thing celebrate it make it a big deal because life is a big deal like your life is so valuable and it's so important and it's a big deal and don't underestimate that let's get some work done and then we can talk about christmas when i'm done Okay guys, about to leave the house, but I just wanted to show you my outfit real quick. So I have on this really cozy um, off the shoulder sweater from Garage. And then I got these jeans from Garage as well. They're the baggy low rise. And then I got my Adidas green Sambas because we're repping Christmas today. Matching that, we got my green tote. It's a little cozy fit to go shopping. 
So I'm gonna take you guys along. So excited. Just got to HomeSense and I'm going to rate it. I'm going to absolutely rate it. <laughs> I'm actually kidding, I'm not. Because I already do have some Christmas decorations at our house that like I bought from previous years. So like I can't go too crazy. I just kind of want to see if I can get any more cute cups, what the mug section is looking like. And I also do want to find a lamp. That's just something that I've been wanting, not really Christmas related for my office. So I'm just going to go check things out. We're just going to do a browse a shop see what ends up in the cart and we will go from there but guys it's this is like i'm trying to soak this moment in because this is the most joyful shop of the year like getting christmas decorations and just like going into home sense getting to see all of the christmas decor is the best thing ever we don't have target here so unfortunately i can't shop at target target was once in canada it was like literally, I don't even know, 10 years ago now. And they were here for like maybe a year. And then the company went bankrupt in Canada and then they had to leave. And then all our targets got transformed into Walmart. So kind of sucks for us, but at least we got HomeSense. And then beside it is a Marshalls, which pretty much has the exact same things as HomeSense. I don't know why there's, it's like a, under a different name because it's basically the same thing. Also might have to get some sort of a christmas candle so i'm just gonna go in assess the vibes and we're here for the vibes and the good time and christmas energy so let's go shopping so excited <laughs> okay you guys look at how cute these are but there's four I don't need four mugs, but like I might just have to buy it because of how cute it is. But I don't need four, but the aesthetic is here. I might just have to do it. It's only $17 for all four, which is like less than $5 per mug. But it's like maybe I'll just give two away and keep two. Cool, that's what I can do. I can give two away and keep two. Because then it's like not over consumption and I'm giving a gift to somebody. So maybe I'll do that because how freaking cute is Capacima. currently in the lineup about to check out and I went a little crazy not gonna lie because I can't help myself it is like my fault for stepping foot in here because it's an automatic $500 day but I love it so I will give you guys a haul when I'm home but we're gonna check out and I did some damage back home from home sense so excited to show you guys a haul because i feel like i got such cute things so first off we're going to start with the bedding that i got i was having a crisis in the store okay because there was three beddings that i was deciding between and i literally couldn't make up my mind so i just rationally picked one and if i regret it i can always go back when i get presented with too many good options i just like get stressed out and I don't know what to do in the situation so anyways these are super super cute we don't have any christmas bedding and i wanted to do some sort of like christmas decor upstairs since like most of the christmas decor is going to be down here so i wanted something upstairs so i'm like bedding is kind of perfect so i got this red bedding and it has like little trees on it and little cabins you can see better like that but it is very christmasy and cute i'm like okay i know i'm gonna like this like you can't really go wrong so i got that but there was this really cute flannel bedding that i was ugh, i'm like having second thoughts now tell me that's cute in the comments please all right <laughs> okay next thing i got is this um blanket for the couch last year i'm pretty sure i did buy a blanket but i ended up returning it just because it kind of i don't know i'm very picky when it comes to blankets on my couch since i feel like this area over here is so white if you put like the wrong thing it looks really weird so i am going to test this out this year and see if i like this one but i think it's so elegant and chic and classy like it's not very in your face you know what i mean it's very christmas but it's still super subtle so i'm excited to see if i like this for the couch and it's actually a pretty big blanket so this is a sleigh and it's really really soft okay the next two things that i got aren't very christmas but i just kind of wanted them for the house um just in general i just want more wooden cutting boards because they're really cute to use like as decor on the backsplash of the kitchen so i'm gonna add some more cutting boards i got this little one and then this medium sized one and just to like put them up against like the back it makes it like very homey and woody and i love wood tones i really like these two layered 
and also just for actual like use of them because plastic cutting boards aren't like ideal since you could get like microplastics in your food if you use them so want to transition to all like wooden cutting boards and these are so freaking cute and i just love the wood aesthetic so got these for the kitchen and they weren't bad prices at all this one was 15 dollars, and this one was 20 so i feel like that's pretty fair and they're really really cute and as you guys already saw in the store i got these this set of four mugs and i already have i do have a lot of christmas mugs in storage i know that but these are just so cute like they're a sweater with a bow on it like the print i don't know if you could see but it's kind of like a sweater they're just the cutest christmas mugs ever so and they were also the last ones left and i knew i would regret it if i didn't get them i don't know why they come in a pack of four that's kind of odd but like for 17 dollars, you really can't go wrong so Joel and i don't even have stockings because our we don't have like an actual fireplace we just kind of have an electric fireplace and we're not sure if we're going to be able to successfully put them on the ledge like we kind of have to figure out some sort of way to like stick them on so to be determined if we're going to keep these or not but i got us some stockings and they're kind of just like cute neutral fuzzy and i don't know i just like the vibe of them we're going to see if we can make them work and if not then it's no big deal but we didn't even get stockings last year or the year before that because we like i said we've never had like a fireplace so really excited to put these up if we could hopefully we can because i feel like it'll just make the area look so much more cozy and then i got these two cute little wooden reindeer i don't know exactly where these are gonna go yet either on the table over there like the dining room table or i don't even know honestly i'm gonna just have to see and play around with it but what i love about going to home sense is they t do returns then like uh i think it's like 10 days so i have time to bring these back if i can't find a place for them in the house but how cute i love like wooden christmas decor that is my new obsession because i'm really into like neutral and wood tones so very slay and they're so cute they remind me of soupy and binu i've been looking for an olive oil dispenser since we don't have one and i just wanted to sit really cute on the counter and i found this really 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 cute one and it's exactly what i was looking for and it was only seven dollars 7.99 so can't really go wrong this will be here all year round so just thought i'd show you because i have been keeping an eye out at home since for like a, a dispenser because i've been looking for one for a while and they were, they've never had one until today so i'm so excited to fill her up with olive oil and use it because she's been on my list for a while now next thing i got oh my goodness this is so freaking cute it's just this little um like ladle thing so you don't put your ladle on the table you put it uh what's it called a ladle rest a uh, spoon rest i think it's called spoon rest um seven dollars can't go wrong how cute it's christmas themed and we don't even have one of these so this is just kind of a cute christmasy addition for the kitchen how cute is this i literally couldn't pass it up i think i've seen something similar to this at home since before and i really had my eye on it and i'm just like i'm just gonna get it because it's so cute it's like a little ceramic basket i did look for ceramic bowls because i'm looking for a new set but they didn't really have much so i might just have to order them online but i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with this yet i'm gonna play around with my kitchen and like see where this can fit in but she is adorable like so freaking cute and i love it it gives like farmhouse vibes and then i couldn't decide this is like one of the things that i bought two of because i literally couldn't decide i'm probably gonna maybe end up returning one of these so i got these red burgundy kitchen towels and then i got this green set but this green set comes with literally four it was only 20 dollars, and this one was 12 dollars. so i don't know but look at how cute i love this print and then it comes with like just a green one and then a striped one and anyways that's this set and then i got this burgundy one and you guys know i've been loving like burgundy red so had to get this as well it has a stripe down the middle and then just a plain burgundy one and then kind of a white and red one so i don't know do i keep both do i maybe i'm gonna just like decorate the house and then i'll assess which ones are gonna like what color scheme is gonna go better what i have less of and more of so we'll see might end up returning one of these and then very last thing i got is this little gingerbread house and it lights up you need to put batteries in it so hopefully we have batteries at the house but how cute would this be putting this on at night i feel like this would give all the vibes i'm either thinking of putting it on the table over there or the island we'll see where it fits again I'm just gonna have to play around with things and yeah whatever i don't use i'm gonna return so we'll see but how cute is this i love the wood and the snow and it's just i feel like it, it'll look so good once it's lit up so we'll see but yeah so that is the haul i'm just going to 
finish up my work for the day and then we will get to setting up the decorations later so stay tuned i cannot wait but i just have to get this work done and out of the way Hey guys, we got the Christmas tree up from storage and this bin was originally in the corner over there but obviously we're gonna put the Christmas tree here so we just moved that bin here. We've had this Christmas tree since the apartment. This is our third year putting this up. So hopefully everything works great and let's get into it. I honestly don't even mind the bin here in the corner. It kind of looks cute, especially with the trees gonna fill out that area there. So let's do it. So here is the tree as you guys saw I think it looks a little bit plain with just the bows so I think what I'm gonna do is we don't want to use ornaments just because we're scared that our cats are going to eat like the the part that hooks onto the tree if one of them falls I don't want the cats hurting themselves with it or choking on it so we're just gonna keep the tree to bows but what would you guys think if I took little red bows like thin ones and like intertwine them with these white ones i think i actually might go pick some up tomorrow to do that so we can finish the tree but i think it looks really good even just like this and i think it's gonna look even better with the red so happy with it for now but we can make it look a little bit better so here's the blanket with the couch and i actually really like it this is like the first festive blanket i've bought that i haven't returned i just think it goes so well so proud of myself for picking this one out and i'm gonna keep it it's actually super big and soft and um she's cozy so this is going to be on my couch for the holiday season and i think i'm just going to leave it like as a throw kind of like this because it actually well obviously without that but it actually looks really really good and yeah let me know if you guys agree down below i'm loving the green like wooden tones this year i am obsessed with the new setup here are you kidding me i love the dishcloths i'm obsessed with these ones like especially this one right here with the trees it looks so cute and let me know how you guys like my new cutting board setup i just wanted to incorporate more like woody tones into the kitchen and i think it looks really cute to display all the cutting boards so let me know what you think but i also love the olive oil dispenser and this i think everything came together so nicely and i'm obsessed with like all the wooden tones back here and then i put this as the island centerpiece to replace what i already had here just for the christmas time but this is supposed to like light up and glow but we don't have batteries so we'll get some batteries tomorrow and then i'll show you guys what it looks like but i think this is going to be the island so i just finished dinner um i literally just had scraps it wasn't worth filming we have no groceries that is something i'm gonna do tomorrow is go grocery shopping but i just made myself a sparkling water with lemon juice so freaking good love this drink and the house is feeling so christmasy but i can't wait to put the final touches on it tomorrow like get the batteries for this gingerbread house and then also just get the little red bows so i feel like tomorrow it's really all gonna come together so i'm really excited and i'm already feeling more in the christmas spirit and we'll put the sheets on the bed tomorrow too so we can see how those look praying they look good because of the literal rash decision i made choosing those ones but i just wanted to show you these shoes that i got in the mail you guys know i've been on a adidas samba kit and i got them in the brown i could not pass these up like how cute are they i'm literally obsessed those will be worn soon and i like how they can't really get that dirty because they're dark because a lot of the shoes i have right now are lighter colored so like it literally gets so dirty but anyways i'm gonna head to bed now because i have been loving going to bed extra early and reading and just like having a long time to chill in bed so i'm gonna go get ready 
wash my face and chill in bed and i will see you guys tomorrow to continue the vlog see you guys tomorrow for some more cozy christmas content good night went to walmart to get a couple things earlier today i was just literally doing some emails recording the podcast so i was busy but i just ran out to get some batteries for the little gingerbread house so we can light it up tonight and then i got two of each of these ribbons i got a darker red and then a brighter red just to see which ones i like better on the tree i couldn't decide so i just got two of each and once i put them on the tree see which ones look better i'm happy i found them at walmart because i was hoping i wouldn't have to like make a second stop and go to michael's so walmart pulled through and then i just randomly got some dry shampoo because i needed a restock and then just some moisturizer and literally just toothpaste so that's a little haul i just have to go to the grocery store now to pick up some stuff for dinner because i'm planning on making some soup but i really just want to be in and out so quick little grocery shop and then i'm gonna head home guys just got back from the grocery store i did a tiny grocery shop just for literally like two days so i got two rice chips you guys know i love these and then i wanted to try just the plain sea salt ones got some kale because tonight i'm making a soup got some avocados some sparkling water potatoes meat for the soup this is just like pork sausage and then i got some onions because we needed more and some zebias and literally that is it so as you guys know i am literally always looking for ways to make my home more of a healthy environment and safe i feel like we need to value the air that we're breathing every day that goes into our lungs and also the water we are drinking because those are two things in your home that you can easily make a lot healthier for yourself so i recently got the msa3 air purifier from membrane solutions it is a serious powerhouse for air purification and it is designed to handle spaces up to 1500 190 square feet so it makes it perfect for large rooms or kind of open or planned areas the msa3 uses a true three-in-one h13 hepa filter which is awesome because it captures 99.7 percent of particles even the tiny tiny ones that are below 0.01 microns so it is getting the nasty particles out of your air it filters dust pollen pet dander and more it also features odor pure technology which really amps up the activated carbon tackling odors like pet smells and and smoke very effectively. Cleaner air can do wonders for allergies, respiratory health, and just overall wellness. Like I said, another extremely important thing is the quality and purification of the water we are putting in our bodies. So I also recently got the SimPure countertop UV reverse osmosis water filter as well. The best part about it is that there is no installation required. You literally just plug it in and you're good to go. It is SGS certified to meet NSF standards, which means it's basically top-notch filtration, which you can really trust. This system is in incredibly efficient with a net to waste ratio of four to one which is literally the best you'll be able to find each filter replacement could save up to four thousand single use plastic water bottles it is a game changer not only for the taste but for your health it reduces the contaminants in your water ensuring that you are as healthy as you can be and also of course staying hydrated with the most purified water so if you guys are looking to upgrade the air and water quality in your home i would definitely recommend these two products they can go such a long way in the future for your health i will leave both of these product links in the description as well as a coupon code which will save you guys some money so check them out you guys know this is something i truly believe in So I just put the batteries in the gingerbread house and you guys, how freaking cute is it as the centerpiece of my island? I feel like it kind of looks like there's like a candle on or something. 
so if i turn it on every night it's gonna be such a vibe and oh my goodness i love it i actually really like it and i'm glad i saw it because it's kind of a last minute decision so freaking cute oh my goodness and look at the little windows on the side it is adorable so all the christmas mugs have just been brought out out of storage we actually brought them out yesterday but i just threw them in the dishwasher and so these are all of them because they got clean because they since they were sitting in storage i didn't want to like not wash them so now they're all freshly clean so I'm gonna empty out my mug cabinet and put just like regular ones away and put the Christmas ones in. I'm so excited. Look at how freaking cute. Much better. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at my cutie Christmas mugs. I also just kept like regular mugs as well in here, but mostly Christmas mugs. And I put a bunch of mugs in storage because these are like the only two racks that we have for mugs and I don't want to like overdo it. So putting away some, it's like almost when I bring the new ones out for the new season, it's almost like they're brand new and it feels refreshed since i don't see them all the time so we love it oh my goodness i'm so excited to use christmas mugs maybe i'll make a tea or something tonight you guys i popped into canadian tire the other day and i didn't film it but oh my goodness i found two little gingerbread men pillows for the couch and i feel like this is just going to add that christmasy feel to the couch with the blanket they are perfect i have been looking for little gingerbread pillows for so long and i'm so happy i found them they're so adorable and they were only like 20 dollars each so pretty good deal and at canadian tire i didn't even go in there for that so what a slay i'm so hungry i don't know why i'm literally ravenous right now so i'm gonna make dinner a little early i say early but it's already four o'clock so not really that early but the sun is already starting to set so it's just like throwing me off it's so weird but anyways i'm gonna make toscana soup it is i don't know if i've ever shown it on the vlog maybe like a long time ago but it's one of my go-to soups i haven't made it in a long time now but when i do i used to make it all the time and when i make it it's just the best thing ever and it's such a cozy homey soup oh it's so good it has sausage in it it has potatoes kale it's very very hearty pretty easy to cook honestly one of the easiest soups ever to cook so let's make it so that it can be ready within the hour and then we can munch and then i'm gonna put the bows on the christmas tree and it's just gonna be a really cozy night tonight so I'm excited. I'm already feeling cozy vibes because of soup. I was like, literally, I have to have soup tonight. I There's just nights where I just have the vibe and I'm like, it is a cozy soup night tonight. So, gonna get making the soup. I'm just about to put the bows on the Christmas tree and like I said I bought two of each of these color reds but I think I'm I'm honestly feeling the darker red so I'm gonna use the darker red instead of the bright red and I'll just keep these in case I want to use them anywhere else but I am vibing with this darker red so I think I'm gonna do the bows this color and I'll show you guys when I'm done oh my goodness you guys I added the red bows and I am actually <laughs> obsessed oh my goodness i just am in love with it the little red bows just absolutely made it for me it adds like a touch of color of christmas and this is my favorite tree that we've ever done like i am so happy about how it turned out so if you guys don't know how to decorate your tree this year definitely would recommend doing this it's so cheap literally you don't even have to buy ornaments the white ribbon i found at michael's last year and then the red ribbon you guys saw obviously i just got it from walmart which is literally three dollars per roll and i used two rolls for the tree so this is such a slay you guys i am so obsessed like are you kidding this is the pinterest tree of my dreams this little bell i got it from my mom and it's like the only ornament on the tree because it's so special and i love it it just like matches the vibe and that is basically the tree i'm down to add like sentimental ornaments on the tree as well um i know i have a few they are boxed up somewhere we need to clean out the garage honestly our shit is a mess so once we do that hopefully we can find like another couple like sentimental ornaments to put on but just like regular ornaments we're not gonna 
even bother so I have to think what I'm going to do for wrapping paper this year to match the vibe but I don't know if I told you guys but this tree is from Walmart if you're curious and I think I paid like 150 to 200 dollars for it so it has held up for three years now so pretty good and I love how it's like flocked with the white um but yeah anyways let me know if you guys like it guys look at Soupy <laughs> she nestles herself in between the sheets but what do you guys think? I have no idea if I like it or not. I honestly am on the fence about this bedding right now. I don't know why. <laughs> to be <laughs> She just loved inside the pillows. She's so cute. But like guys, seriously, you need to help me because I have no idea if I like this or not. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what's throwing me off about it. There's something throwing me off. Is, is it the fact that I'm not used to the red or what is it? I don't know. Please comment down below. Let me know if you like the bedding. I just like can't put a finger on it. I don't know why it doesn't look that good. So please let me know your thoughts down below. It would be really helpful. <laughs> Hey guys so i'm just watching the vampire diaries and drinking my tea gonna end off the night soon and get ready for bed but you know what show i've been obsessed with dancing with the stars oh my goodness i don't know why but it just like makes me happy to have a episode to watch every week and i don't know i just love following along with the show even though i don't dance or anything it's just like fun seeing people who don't know how to dance learn to dance and i don't know they just put on such a good show so i've been really loving dancing with the stars this season and yeah i've been watching that and i've been watching vampire diaries and i've been on a big youtube kick so i've been watching a lot of youtube honestly that's pretty much it um let me know if you guys have any show recommendations as of late leave them in the comments because i'm always down to like try a new show but i'm on season four of vampire diaries so i do want to finish it before I really start anything else because if I start something else like I'm never gonna finish my one show so I always kind of have to watch things like in lump sums because then I get like really addicted to a show and into it and then I don't want to intertwine that with anything else but you guys I had such a cozy last couple days and my house is just like bringing me so much joy honestly this is your sign to if you celebrate Christmas to decorate for it a bit early because why not like literally just why not life is all about romanticizing you know the day-to-day -day life the little things so this is your sign i know it's really hard to be motivated and to be happy in these darker months when it's cold when it literally we get literally eight hours of daylight per day basically i think it's maybe nine now but it's gonna go down and so it is very dark days and it's been just like throwing me off but i still don't want to let that you know tear me down i want to try to keep a positive attitude through the winter i love celebrating christmas november and december because thinking back to september like i i actually can't believe that halloween's already done from when we started september so that's the equivalent of us starting november right now and then it being christmas you know what i mean and then the new year holy shit that's actually crazy to say out loud that there's only two months left of the year less than two like i'm sorry i am so sorry but literally what happened like what happened <sighs> it's actually insane but the holiday season is just so magical but i love myself a good christmas cozy moment and I hope that this video brought you some inspiration and all the cozy vibes. Because I just feel like it's the perfect time of year to post this. Let me know if you guys have any other video recommendations that you want to see from me coming up. I'm going to focus on making a lot of motivational content towards the end of the year. Because I know that people want to get on track for January. And so do I honestly. Like I just want to keep you know in my routine and I want to keep motivating you guys and staying motivated so a lot of my content is going to focus around that for the last half of the year i'm like why do i keep saying last half of the year guys there's two months left of the year literally for the next two months um and then continuing that on into january of course so let me know if there's anything in specific you guys want to see or if you guys want me to add stuff in the vlogs like please leave your feedback down below because it's so helpful for what 
you know how i make these videos and everything but yeah i just love making content around like my routine and like just like home content because i'm always home i just feel like that is my perfect little niche so thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because if you're not what the heck and give this video a thumbs up i never ask you guys to do that so if you could just like do me a favor and thumbs it up that would be amazing and i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much thank you for watching up until this point like i actually love you yeah we'll see you guys soon cheers to the christmas holiday season coming up let's all be cozy in our homes together